Hello everyone! Ever wondered how data engineers handle massive datasets efficiently? Let's explore the game-changing power of partitions in PySpark and revolutionize your data processing. A partition in Spark is a logical division of data in an RDD, data frame or dataset, enabling efficient and scalable parallel processing by distributing the data load across multiple nodes in a cluster, making it crucial to partition data correctly for optimal performance. Think of a partition as a small group of rows from your data frame. In this example, we have split a seven-row data frame into four partitions. Spark is a system that can handle big data by working on these partitions at the same time. Each piece of work done on a partition is called a task, and usually one task runs on one Spark core. Here we have two executors, each with two cores, which means all four partitions can be processed at once parallelly. Let's explore the importance of partition strategy with examples. Choosing right number of partitions. Imagine a busy restaurant kitchen with 16 chefs ready to cook. The restaurant receives 10 orders in total. Since each order can only be handled by one chef, only 10 chefs are actively cooking, while the remaining six chefs are standing idle, waiting for more orders. This is inefficient because the kitchen is not fully utilizing all its chefs. Similarly, envision a scenario with a 16-core processing unit. If we create 10 partitions of the RDD or data frame, each partition corresponds to an order. Since partitions cannot be divided among cores, out of the 16 cores available, only 10 will be actively processing one partition each, leaving the remaining 6 cores idle. Therefore, having partitions in multiples of the number of cores, such as 16, 32, or 64, leads to suboptimal resource utilization. Tip! To ensure effective parallelism and resource utilization, aim for two to three times the number of partitions as there are cores in the cluster. Moreover, for large datasets, more partitions facilitate efficient data management and processing, typically ranging from 128 megabytes to 256 megabytes per partition. Evenly distributed partition across the cores improves performance. Imagine a delivery company with several trucks and packages to deliver. If one truck is assigned a large package weighing 5 tons, and another truck is assigned a small package weighing 5 kilograms, the truck with the small package will finish its delivery very quickly, and then sit idle, while the truck with the large package will take much longer to complete its delivery. The overall delivery time for the company is dictated by the truck with the largest package, causing delays. If the packages were evenly distributed, with each truck getting a similar load, all trucks would finish their deliveries around the same time, improving overall efficiency. Similarly, in a data processing scenario, imagine one partition containing 5 gigabytes of data, while another partition holds a mere 5 megabytes. Here, one core processes the 5 gigabytes data, while another handles the 5 megabytes data. The core processing the smaller dataset swiftly completes its task and remains idle until the core handling the larger dataset finishes processing. This imbalance prolongs the execution time of the application. In summary, ensuring that partitions are evenly distributed across cores enhances overall efficiency, enabling all resources to complete their tasks simultaneously and minimizing delays. Characteristics of partitions Immutable Once a partition is created, it cannot be modified. Instead, transformations on RDDs or data frames generate new RDDs or data frames with new partitions. Distributed Partitions are distributed across the worker nodes in the Spark cluster. This distribution allows Spark to leverage the computational power of multiple nodes. Importance of partitions Parallel processing By dividing the data into partitions, Spark can process data in parallel, significantly speeding up computation. Fault tolerance Partitions help in fault tolerance. If a node fails, only the partitions on that node need to be recomputed, not the entire dataset. Resource utilization. Proper partitioning ensures that all available computational resources, CPUs and memory, are utilized efficiently. Checking number of partitions. Default parallelism. 
It gives the default number of partitions that Spark will use when creating new RDDs from data sources that do not specify a partition count. Max Partition Bytes It determines the maximum size of each partition in bytes when Spark reads data from files. If a file is larger than this value, it will be split into multiple partitions. Conversely, smaller files can be combined into fewer partitions. I trust you found this video helpful. Thank you.